my concept of what our role is in this day and age is that we provide structures within which people can save their own history in a way that's meaningful to them. So earlier generations kept spinning wheels because that evoked for them their, con their sense of who they were. I don't know of any, very few people today look at a spinning wheel and say, that's my life. We have a number of projects um, that we're developing to try to try to do that. The two most, the first one we did was Midnight to Midnight, and that was a photo documentation process, a project where we asked people to photograph places that were meaningful to them in Northampton over a two-day period in May of 2014, and we're going to be doing that again. We're talking about exactly how we want to focus that. Um, what we may ask is that people take a picture of their own house this year as one part of that project and send us a digital photograph of their house because we want to use it in a second project which people may have heard of, Northampton Timelines, and you can see a kind of mock-up of what we have in mind on a website called northamptontimelines.org. So this is our site for Northampton Timelines. Um, this is a mock-up. It doesn't have all the functionality we hope it will have someday, but it will give you an idea of what we have in mind. The central feature is a map, which you, um, right now these are kind of stand-in maps, and they'll have hot spots, which when you link over them uh, will show a picture of the house on the site um, and I'll click on that one. This is 66 Bridge Street, which belongs to us, so we know quite a bit about it, uh, the Shepherd House. It'll have a short history of the house, you know, when it was built, uh, if there's any, you know, notable um, facts about it. And then a link to a page which is dedicated entirely to that house. Our goal is to put three kinds of information up first. The first is the Form Bs. These are the inventory standard forms from the Massachusetts Historical Commission. I'll just bring one up so you can see what they look like. Um, and this has a lot of basic information. Um, we'll also have a summary of the land, who owned the land over, over time, about the architecture of the buildings, who lived, who owned the buildings and who lived there. And, and one of the things that will take a lot of help from a lot of volunteers is to research all the deeds. Deeds are all uh, available publicly online already uh, at Mass Land Records, um, but it's very helpful to have them all together for a single property. So we, I've put a sample up, and you, um, so you'll be able to just simply click on the date of the deed. You can get it very large, so you can uh, eventually we'll have a whole series of deeds which will show the conveyance of the property. We'll also link, um, we know who lived in this house, and we can link to uh, Find a Grave, which is a really interesting site and full of useful things. Um, then we'll also do pictures. Now, the, uh, the earliest pictures that will go up are pictures of the all the historical pictures we have of the house. Uh, in this mock-up, I, I didn't have access to a lot of pictures of Shepard. There actually qu are quite a bit. But here's one done in the late 1880s. Um, we'll make a bigger, better resolution eventually and so that it's easier to see. Um, we might do close-ups of, of architectural detail, like this beautiful Gothic lake, lacy porch on this house. Um, we'll add when we have them, pictures of the people who lived there, and we will include when picture when people will offer them pictures of people living in the house. Not endless, endless pictures, but well chosen pictures which give a sense of the house and the life that was lived. Um, if we're lucky and get funding and uh, and have enough help, we may be able to do far more complex and interesting um, things. If you're interested in getting involved, you can click on Get Involved. Maybe you can help us do the basic research. You could spend a few hours uh, a week 
helping us find the deeds. Or maybe you'd like to simply work intensively on one house, like your own house. And we will have training sessions. We'll tell you how to, how to do the deed research and the other kinds of things that we need and help us get these house histories on the site. Or perhaps there's a business that you're interested in, because we would like to do this for not just the domestic architecture, but for the businesses and also the open spaces. Um, p things that are the meadows, you know, what was Pancake Plain, what happened at Pancake Plain, um, what was Old Rainbow, why is it called Old Rainbow, where is Old Rainbow, uh, th questions like that. It's a very flexible structure. It's a, it's a good example of what I'm trying to accomplish here. This site is supposed to be a structure within which the people of Northampton can preserve their own history. And that's really what it's all about. We have a lot of work that needs to be done and we can't do it without help from, from many, many local residents. Many people have already stepped forward and we're really pleased. Um, and there's room for more. There are a lot of ways in which people can use us as a way of, of leaving their own historical record. You don't really have to leave it to someone else. You can, you can take a part and be your own historian and leave your own history.